one of the things that the exactly. um, recent ATT Insight Cybersecurity Report highlighted was a need for a balanced cybersecurity spend. Well, um, what does that really mean? How do you balance your investment against everyone coming together, Sally? It's a great question. And I think my answer is, is partly how we communicate about this, what the narrative is. So rather than this cost of investment, what about the cost of insecurity? Reframe it around that. Now, we've seen this kind of scale, scope, sophistication of risk accelerating. Lots of different um, you know, things affecting that, one of which being IT and OT convergence I'm seeing right up there at the moment. So to address these particular threats, we need to look at things more holistically. Um, so, for example, as we treat these um, issues, we need to treat them, say, as part of business outcomes. It's not different kind of component, separate silo parts. I think that's really, really important. And the narrative around that matters too. And um, one example of that I've seen quite effectively at the moment, particularly with the rise of edge use cases, is merging um, edge with cybersecurity principles and policies. So it's this bringing together this holistic treatment, I think is really important too. Probably something we'll come back to a bit later on. So I'll, I'll pass that back, but I just think a really great question. Well, I want to bring that Helen so in, into that. So, so Helen, because you, um, your company provides uh, fractional CSO services. And as a CSO, you have to look at all of these threats. Um, what does investment balance mean to you? Absolutely. So when it comes to investment, we all think about what is the cost benefit, right? That's when I when from a cybersecurity perspective, it's about perceived cost of ownership and effectiveness of control, especially for mid-sized companies. They don't have a you know, really big budget to spend what you're going to do. So I always feel like the cost and benefit analysis would be a good starting point. Um, for example, you, there are many areas you can, you know, when it comes to uh, network modernization, right, as IDS, we all know, intrusion detection could be really an area's overall benefit winner, right? People, every single company needs to have the intrusion detection in place, regardless of the industry, the size of a company.